So let's continue our discussion of brain basics. Now, you hear a lot of different words referencing the human brain. Two of those words would include the cerebrum and the cerebellum. Now, they're very similar sounding words. Basically, this is a little version of that. So, this is a very basic drawing of the human brain. And here we have the cerebrum, and here we have the cerebellum. So the first difference that we can make note of between the cerebrum and the cerebellum is that the cerebrum is big, and the cerebellum is relatively small as compared to the cerebrum. So this is like 85% of the, of the mass of the brain, and this is more like 10% uh, of it, and then we have the extra bits here, and it all adds up to 100 eventually. So the cerebellum is kind of the hind brain, or the, the smaller brain in the back of your skull here, and the cerebrum sort of fills up the top. Now, both of them have squiggles, okay? The gyri. Uh, and here we call it the vermis because the squiggles are elongated into worm-like strips. So the vermis of the cerebellum are, this, are the finer squiggles that, that create a convoluted and complex brain surface in the cerebellum. And similarly, the surface is more complex because of the gyri here, uh, which are much larger, as is everything about the cerebrum. <clears throat> now, the cerebrum has a frontal pole and a back pole, we could say. So there's a front and a back to the cerebrum, and we divide it up into lobes. Now, you can see here there's a little lobe sticking out. That's called the temporal lobe. This one's easy. It's in the front. It's called the frontal lobe. This lobe here we call the parietal lobe. Parietal means wall, basically, pertaining to the wall. So the lobe that basically forms the side wall of the brain, and then the lobe in the back, where your occipital bone is, is called the occipital lobe. So occipital lobe, parietal lobe, frontal lobe, and temporal lobe. And the cerebellum, we're just going to call it the cerebellum. We're not going to break it up into lobes right now or different, different parts. Just, just this little brain here <laughs> is this beautiful um, compartment in the back of your skull. And here we have some direction over our, over our balance, our proprioception of sense of where we are in space. Uh, whereas here we have all the complex uh, functions of, of, of motor and sensory apparatus, as well as our thinking brain and, and uh, all that brain stuff. We won't go into that right now, but you get the idea that those are some of the basic differences between the cerebellum and the cerebrum. And we can also make note, this is interesting to me, they're about, uh, they're getting better at estimating the number of neurons in the human brain. They say there's about 86 billion. That's a lot of neurons. Interestingly, there's about the same number of neurons in the cerebrum as there is in the cerebellum. What's the difference? Well, the cell bodies are a little smaller in the, in the nerve, uh, nerve cell bodies in the cerebellum versus the cerebrum, but there's also a lot more myelin in the cerebrum. Myelin is, is a kind of the fatty connective tissue um, cells, the glial cells that wrap the axons of the, of the neurons. And there's a lot more fat, basically, in this part of your brain than in this part, and that gives it more volume. So the volume isn't from the numbers, it's from the myelin. 43 billion neurons, 43 billion neurons, sizes and everything. So anyway, there's Brain Basics Part 2, cerebrum, cerebellum, where they are mapped on the human brain, 
and a little bit about their differences. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.